Uh, Chris Quinn is the Commissioner for Children and Young People for Northern Ireland, and uh, he's with us in, in the studio this morning. Um, Chris, first of all, are, are, have you heard anything on the grapevine to, to suggest where this is going, how, how this uh, has been considered by UNITE. Uh, are, are you hearing any news if, if a derogation is going to be granted for special schools? I haven't heard any updates apart from what you've already just mentioned. Um, I do welcome the fact that unions are considering derogations. There's no doubt in my mind that in times of crisis, children and young people's rights are negatively impacted, particularly those most vulnerable. Uh, and we've been in a really difficult situation for quite some time now. Um, so I think it's important in all of this conversation to pay tribute to the staff that work with children with special educational needs because they have been working on the coalface for quite some time. Um, pay parity has been an issue. The lack of facilities for special educational needs children, um, the lack of places, the lack of funding have all been very acute issues that my office and I have been working on for quite some time. I've spoken with parents over the weekend who are affected and they have stressed the point that the, the staff working with our children are absolutely fantastic. They also have said that they really need the support. You know, their children, particularly those children with the most acute need, um, need to be in school. They need that stability. They need the routine. They need the support. They need the therapeutic intervention. You, you've spoken to the, the, the Secretary of State. When, when, when did you last meet and, and what was your message to him? And has that message changed between then and now on, on you know, the, the, the verge of these, these, this day of industrial action? Yeah, I, I met with the Secretary of State on the 9th of November um, and I, I asked him to withdraw the Northern Ireland budget and that was on the basis of a UN committee call. Um, I had also asked him to put in place the, the funding that we all knew that would be found if there was a political deal. Uh, and my message to him was that that funding should be without, um, you know, it should be without certain clauses. It should be unconditional. Um, and my message is still the same. The money's there. Everyone's saying the same. I'm sure you have people on the show today and throughout the day that will be saying the same thing. My role is, as Commissioner for Children and Young People is to safeguard and promote the rights of children and young people. Um, and every day that we don't have an executive, every day that this impasse goes on and every day that that money sits somewhere in the Treasury and doesn't um, doesn't get to the, the staff and the, the children and young people that need it is a, a further derogation on their rights. Yeah, well, the onus is, is clearly now on the Education Authority to work with the trade unions and come to some sort of an agreement. Um, so I would be strongly advising them to make provision to ensure that our children, the children that are most vulnerable, those that uh, are most negatively impacted at these times, um, are supported throughout this. And we, we, th we saw through COVID-19 and other times that uh, it's those children who are most vulnerable are most negatively impacted. Okay. Chris, thanks for coming in and uh, sharing your views.